Hi, it's Monique and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. Happy Sunday, everyone. Today, I wanted to do a quick, very quick video on my thoughts on the K. Alley Wedding Santel Silk Perfume. So, I ordered this online. The 100 mil was not available. And so, I believe, let me just see what this is. This is... Um... The 10 mil. So here's my receipt, the 10 mil. Um, that was the only one that was available and it was $27. So let me tell you what my thoughts are about this one. So of course I got some free samples that I probably won't use because um, it's some skincare products and I really don't use, you know, I don't wear foundation. I don't wear a lot of stuff on my skin as far as like, you know, this part of my skin. So, um, this one is Wistful Glow Something Scrub. So, but I probably won't use it. But that was in the, that was a free sample that they give. And this is the packaging it came in. I thought it was very, you know, well packaged. Very cute. Um, And then with the logo on the side. Okay. And so, lots of good wrapping paper that can be reused. So... <laughs> Um, and then this came with it. This was another sample. This is Glow Wish, and this is um, some sort of foundation or something. But like I said, I don't wear foundation, so I probably won't use it. I may, you know, gift it to someone, um, but that's what that is, I think. So, all right, so let me get to... The perfume. This is a small little bottle. Hope you guys can see it. And um, I did try it out. So that's the little bottle. This is the 10 mil, like I said. Cute, cute, cute packaging. Um, this is the Wedding Silk Santel. This is that one. Um, so I can tell you that this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But it is a heavy hitter. <laughs> This is strong. And I think that this one is stronger because, and I'm gonna spray it. Um, I've already sprayed on my scent of the day, but I'm gonna spray it just for you guys. Um, see how it comes out? It kind of comes out kind of, let me see. Yeah, kind of wonky. And now um, there must be a design flaw because now it's like leaking on my hand. And so I heard another YouTuber say the same thing. So it must be a design flaw with the sprayer because it sprays out kind of, you know, the spray projection is not like even, it's kind of, I say wonky, you know what I, you got, you know what I mean, but it smells very, very good, like very high end, um, very floral, very soft, um, but strong at the same time, this is a very, very strong fragrance, meaning that it's not strong like, like patchouli strong, but what I'm saying is strong that like one spray will do you. So with the design, what I call a design flaw, I don't know, but I've heard several other people say that it does leak when you spray, which it did. You're not really able to, maybe in this size, I'm not really able just to spray just a little bit because of the way it comes out. It kind of comes out kind of liquidy and loose. I don't know if that makes sense, but it smells really, really good. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's very, um, very feminine, very floral. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. It smells really, really good. Um, it's very, very long lasting. So I would say you only need a little bit. If you have the larger bottle, let me know in the comments if you have the larger bottle and how it projects when you spray it out because maybe then you have the power to kind of tone down the projection of the spray. But with this one, you know, it just kind of comes out, you know, kind of liquidy and just, you know, it doesn't really dissipate. That's what I'm looking, that's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't really dissipate, you know, it just kind of goes where it goes. And so, um, but I like it. It's very beautiful, nice fragrance. 
Will I buy a large bottle? No, I won't. This is more than enough for me. Um, it's more than enough for me because like I said, it's a very beautiful, but it's a very potent fragrance. Like I'm about to go out in a few minutes. I know people are gonna smell me, which is a good thing because it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But this is one that, you know, and like I said, I'm a heavy sprayer that you only need a small amount of this. I think if you spray too much of this, it could be a little bit off-putting because it's so fragrant. But it's very, very beautiful. Um, is this an everyday fragrance? I wouldn't wear it every day. Um, but it's it's very well done. Like I said, very um, feminine, very floral, very special occasion-esque, if that's a word. I know it's not but it is it's very very nice like i said i'm satisfied with other than the way it sprays out and then it leaks too you know down your hand like my hand smells just like i'd sprayed it on my hand because of the leakage so and like i said someone else mentioned that too so i said it might be a design fault. like i might email the company or something and let them know that if they don't already know um but yeah like I said, I won't be purchasing the large bottle, even though I love the little, like, um, not chandelier, but you know the design that's on the larger bottle. You don't have that here. So I wish I could have gotten that on this one, but that's not going to be enough for me to purchase the larger bottle. But yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Like I said, it's very long lasting, very fragrant. It's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful scent. So all the hype surrounding about this is true. So I will say that, um, yeah, and that's it. Those are my thoughts. So comment below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, subscribe to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Let me know if you purchased this or if you smelled it in store and what your thoughts are about it. And if you got this size, which is the 10 mil or the larger size. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.